hi, Maggie in front of the camera. And Kay's behind. And this is our first step in our day by day joining in the fun, decorating our Lost in Paradise monster book. You will find all the measurements for everything on a PDF. If you email us at coolcatscraft at gmail.com, we can send it out. I will put it on the bottom. And Kay will put it on and the I bottom. And I spell it correctly, you never know. <laughs> if we're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so this is the front of it. The papers, we do actually sell a complete kit which comprises of the grey board for the to construct the monster book the decorative papers, magnets, cardstock, everything else you need. But you will need uh, a 12 by 12 collection pack of Lost in Paradise and you'll also need the patterns and solids. Having s And um, this is half a pack of ephemera cards. Having said that, you can do it with other papers, you just need to paper match as you go along, but that's the amount of decorative paper that you will need to do this. There are a few bits left over, but that's just so you know. So we're going to start on our front cover which is here and you can see I've fussy cut some pieces out and they've got quite a lot of dimension and they're very shiny. The reason they're shiny is because I put glossy accents on them afterwards. No really? Yes but there is a new thing now you can use as well which is Stamperia gloss which you paint on. I don't know I did, I've got it. It's a dimensional glaze. Um, it's not quite as dimensional as glossy accents but it's pretty good if you want to get into nooks and crannies with a paintbrush. So that's that. So what I did was I fussy cut these out first and in the PDF it tells you where I cut them from and then I um, then stuck them onto black card, stretched them and manipulated them with my craft tool and then I put, um, what do you call it, 3D gel in the back and let it dry. Okay, so there's quite, it'll, it'll maintain its shape and I went along the beak of the toucan as well. So they're done like that. <clears throat> so front cover, all the decorative papers that I've cut out, again we've got cutting file, cutting layouts for you and stuff, but all the ones that I've cut out here I have already pre-inked the edges just to take, save time with the demos. So this front cover, I'm going to start with a piece like that, then I've used our never ending strip dies and I've made it longer so I've got a nice decorative feature there. That will then have some plain from the patterns in solids. This one will go on here. And it's been mounted on artist tack so it'll... Stick firmly on there. straight, no, it's wonky, just straighten it up a little bit, that's why I like artist tap because you've got a little bit of leeway. Yeah, it is permanent, but it's you've, permanent got, you've got a couple you... of seconds, you yeah. you a minute or so to okay, so put on. Okay, that down. Okay, so I'm going to stick this one onto here first. You do actually have quite a, not, not a huge amount left over, but enough to make a little, a little booklet if you want to go inside your pocket inside so take probably release the magnet and lay it flat so it's easier for you to work with and you can see I've got arrows here to make sure I've got it up the right way. This particular piece of paper doesn't matter but it will do. No. It will become evident it will That's matter right. soon. And I'll put that on there and that on there. Okay so we'll just burnish those down. When I talk about a piece of card, slipping a piece of card behind, this is what I mean. You can see that corner's lifting up a bit. So what you can do is just put a little bit of glue on there. Just pop it behind. That's really handy if you've got a page that's already really well stuck. So that's on there like that. And we're going to take our decorative piece here. You don't have to do this, but I just like to do it because it gives a bit more dimension and depth to the cover. So, again you could use artist tack to stick this on because you've got your little tiny holes there. Okay, and I'll 
probably go in from the edge there, or probably go in about an inch. Make sure that's straight. I love the effect of those. You're really, really effective, aren't they? Mm. Yeah, we've got a new one coming out, haven't we? Have we got a new one coming out, Maggie? Mm, a special one. <laughs> <laughs> Similar to that, but it does a, has a different effect, doesn't it? It's, I like it. This, oh, isn't yeah. it? Well, it might be my new favourite. Yes. Okay, so then our next bit, and here you can see when I cut this out, I put an arrow so I stick it the right way up. Love Jeff upside down flowers. Yes. But then I wasn't sure about the butterfly, you see, but flowers like to face the sun, don't they? So, but the butterfly's flying up that way. So you change your mind now. <laughs> I'm changing my mind now, yeah. I did this all the time. I kept changing it at home. I was like, oh, yes, it's going to be that way. So we'll put it that way. But butterflies do fly downwards as well because they go down to the... But the flowers face the sun, don't they? Generally, yeah. Yeah. So we'll have it like that. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so already you can see that you've got some nice dimension going on there. And then one of the ephemera cards, I stuck on some black card here, and I can see I need to move that over a little bit. Okay, so that's going to fit on there like that. So I'll probably stick that. If you want a complete ephemera card showing, just move that over a little bit more to that side there. So I'm going to stick that one there. First parrot over there, I think. My toucan is going to go here. And I've also got a flower here. I think I put the flower there because that was to cover that there. So I might just sit. I might leave that flower off actually. And then I've got some little butterflies cut, so I'm going to stick this one on next. I'm sticking this down, you probably need a really good Grippy glue. Sticky, uh, um, Eileen's sticky. I would probably use Eileen's tacky glue for this, just because it's a quicker grab. Yeah, you, you want, you don't, yeah, you do want a, a quick grab one, otherwise you could be there holding it for ages. Yeah. You also want it strong as well. Yeah. And you want it well stuck down because if you're going to put glossy accents on it, you don't it want it to bend, bend and lift. Bend it, yeah. yeah. First, okay, and then you could just stuck your finger on it. I'll do, I'll do that in shall I, while you do the other one. Okay, let's pop this on there. Let's just decide where we want it. We just have him, there, I think. Like you, you, you want me to hold that? Yes, please. I'll move. Okay. 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 Yep. Yeah, I've got, got that. that there. Yeah, yeah, I've got so that. I'll just hold that down there for a bit longer, just for a minute. And then if you want to go in, you can pop your flower there. You can I quite like the flower there. there. There, I'll pop it there. Than that. That's where I've got the other one. Yeah, I'll pop it on there. Okay. okay. Right, that's my card because I can see that that bit's lifting. Okay, and then we're going to stick. This is when you need to be an octopus, really, isn't it? that glue dry and then you can rub it off with your glue eraser. That one's fine I think. That one's fine, yeah. No, no, I'll just leave it at home. Just a second longer. Don't do, really give this time to stick before you decide to put any dimensional gloss on or anything, otherwise it will lift. Okay. 
Okay, that's done there. Oh, look at the mess I've made here. Okay. <laughs> You've been let loose with the glue pot, haven't you? I know, it's a nightmare. Right, okay, so that's that there. So then my other spine is going to go on here, like this. So I'll stick this one on. And sometimes, um, if you don't like the little embellishments and decorations I've done, leave it all until the end and then go through and personalise it yourself so you have it exactly how, how you want it. And don't forget to show us. Yeah, I always like, love looking at it. We love what looking at what you've made. You always have different take on it than what we do, so it's cool. It's so lovely to see, yeah. isn't it? Right, okay, so that's that there. I should have thought of that. Yeah, why didn't I think of that? Yeah. Are you going to put your butterflies on the front? That's not of interest. Yes, I am. They're stuck to the glue. They're here. I'll put them on in a minute. Right, I'm just doing the spine here. So, now if this was Heather's album, she'd probably have a little um, dumbbell, little dangly thing dangly there. Dangly thing, yeah. But I'm just going to pop this one on here. from the sticker sheet but again I've mounted it onto black card it says paradise is a state of mind it's quite like to be in paradise at the moment okay so that's that one there so a freezing cold Peterborough in the middle of lockdown is not paradise yeah <laughs> definitely not it is a bit cold today as well right just stick your finger on there a sec okay use um, a repositional tape on here just keep these in place yes you could do yeah well, just, just make, stick make sure it, it down and then yeah. hoik it up I'd probably use um, scotch low tack artist tape the paper tape okay uh, but yes you could do if you've run out of hands yeah if you run out of hands or you haven't got <laughs> or your friend doesn't want to do it anymore <laughs> well, if you're locked down you can't <laughs> that's true okay so the back cover right, I'm going to move along here okay so okay, I'm in the nice. Is it down? That's it. Yeah. Okay. It's that's down. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Right. Is that okay for the back cover? That's very nice. This back cover. Oh, I like. I like that. Yeah, I like paper. that one as well. Got some t-shirt actually. And that's the actual other side of it. So if you wanted to have a really bright back cover, you could have that. But I actually. I must like, it's the one thing I do. Yeah. This is yes. I, 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 we were discussing it earlier. and it's, yeah. it's a double-sided, and you, you've got two really nice sides, and you don't know which to use. Yeah. Yes, we've had a long discussion about that, haven't we? I know we can't afford whatever she wants in her head. <laughs> we will, we'll get there, I'm telling you now. <laughs> but it has to be right before it goes anywhere, doesn't it? True. So there's no point doing it if it's not going to be how we want and it's not going to work. Okay, and then here, what have I done here? Yes, I'll put little arrows here. So this is going to be... I've got that one in the middle there, like that. Can you see this okay? Yeah, we can see that. Okay. It's put, that's a tad towards you. So just centralise it a bit better. Okay, okay that's the... And these bits here have been cut from... Um, as you've cut for the other pages, these are the pieces that are left, so that it's all, you'll have all the cutting layouts for it, but it's to make the most of the papers, but also to try and get the bits and pieces, the images that you like. Pop this one on here. So that one goes on there. And this all helps to um, continue the pattern through as you're looking at it, make sure that's stuck straight. This is um, the scotch paper tape, so that way you can put that on there to hold it down in place. The parrot's tail on the front cover. Okay, so pop that there. So that's there, and that's done. All done like that. So that is your front cover. That's 
your front, that's your spine, that's your back cover, and that's your other spine. There. Right, so I'm going to put a bit more. Let's hold that down. Right, so that one's done. So we're going to move into the inside now. And the inside cover. And again, you have all your um, all your cutting guides and everything is there for you. So on here, the front inside cover is going to be like this. It's like there. So you've got two dumbbells holding things in place, and they're also your handles to lift up. So this one is going to go in here, this one is going to go on here, this one, now in the original one I did, um, I didn't cut a photo because we didn't have the curved photo dies at the time, but that's one of our curved photo slot dies, so that will go on there, and then this one here, you have your black card that fits in the bottom there. And then this one here, I've used one of our slotted, never-ending decorative dies to create another little tuck-in tuck cool. there. Okay, so but the first thing we're going to do is stick our magnets. So, we're going to take our piece of card and we probably want it up to about, where do we want our magnets to go? So we'll do it there. A little line across there, and we'll do the same. So you're doing it by eye, but you're just measuring it with the. I'm doing by eye, but measuring it with a piece. So it, so I know it's the same. Yeah. Instead of messing around with a ruler, because I also think it's quite hard to show people with a ruler. But do it by eye. That I would say that's probably about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Okay. We'll, find we'll find it out, won't we? Right, okay, so then I'm going to take my dumbbells. Which are there? Which are here that I've cut. Now these are from our dumbbell and swivel die set. And I know they've been out of stock, but again, hopefully we've got them back in stock now. So, and these have been die cut out of Architape, so they're a bit stronger. But if you don't have Architape, you can use um, black card, but you should have enough left over from your tape that we gave you. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stick one, go further along, make sure that that central bit's, you see where the pencil line is, that's going onto there like that, and I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to zoom in a tad, um, just move it towards, hold on a minute. Is that right? Yes, that is right. Okay, yeah. you just move that a tad, oh, that? That, backwards. that way. About there, that's perfect. Okay, right, so you can see where I've got the pencil line there, I'm going to peel my and that bit is going to be in the middle of there. So that's going to go on there. If you find that this is bending down too much, you can always pop something underneath just to stop it from going, sinking down like that, okay? So I've taken the stick off that one. So now I'm going to open this out. I need to take my magnets. Yeah, that's, that's Can fine. you see? Yeah, because, yeah, we'll see that. Okay, okay. And I'm going to stick one magnet Ooh. in the centre there. And one magnet in the centre there. And then I'm going to take my other magpop. Another one that I've cut out. And I'm going to stick that, because they're self-adhesive, that will stick straight on top like that, so you've got a nice secure little bit there, and pop that one on there, like that, so when that shuts, you've got them there, you can pick them up, now you can see you've got white there showing, so you can either unstick it and reline, but what I would probably do is I would probably um, do so you can move that over, oh sorry, you can yeah. see you've got the white edge of the architect there, 
because I haven't lined it up exactly. You could move it, but I probably wouldn't recommend that because you'll reduce the stick. So just manipulate it a little bit, but you can use your black black marker, whatever you fancy, really. Now, at this point, you could... There's all my left pockets cut out. You could... Look how organised I am, Kay. Mm -hmm. Look, I cut all the bits out. So these are other bits from the Magpop die. You could... I mean, it's not the Magpop die. Uh, it's a dumbbell dumb die. Yeah. You could take these off and you can stick one underneath here and one on top. Just gives it a nicer finish. And I think I'm going to use a bit of glue with that because I don't think these were on the arc um, artist tack enough. I would probably glue those anyway. The, the artist tack's yeah. great, but for little bits like that, I don't do And with the magnets as well, yeah. it seems to be. I would use glue as well. Right, okay, so that's one on there. And then we'll pop. Make sure I've got the. We've got little um, tiny stitched edges. Do one here and one, one on top. Just gives it a really nice finish, so that's one. And we'll do exactly the same. side my chair moved then I nearly went flying mm? <laughs> my chair moved then I nearly went flying <laughs> well, wouldn't have gone far go, though no. okay right so we'll let those stick there okay so now we need to fix the magnet underneath so I'm going to take make sure they're not too white okay these are two mag pops that I've cut out. It's they're cut out in card though, and they're on two double-sided card stock. So I'm going to take one of these, take the sticky side off, take a magnet. That one's alive. That one's alive. Okay, so I'm going to take a magnet. There's my mag my dumbbell there. I'm going to put that stick side up and I'm going to drop a, a magnet on. Just move it up a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing for the other side. So if I take that off there. Can you see this okay, okay? Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to fold that down like that. You can't see that, though. <coughs> okay, and I'm going to put that onto there. Push that one down. And push that one down. Okay. If your mag pop is coming over the edge there, you can either just trim it or just move it around a bit without moving the magnet too much make sure they still click on yeah that's fine okay so burnish those I'll probably use a little bit of, personally I would use a bit of glue on there as well um the uh underneath yeah although this is going to have paper on top of oh, it oh is it well. oh right, okay. yeah Sorry. yeah so that's that on there burnish that down okay right so they're stuck there like that okay so then you're going to take your frame that you've cut and you've inked around the edges, you've done everything that you needed to and again you could either choose to have it this way with your paper in the front but I'm actually doing it that way. Okay so I'm going to stick this one down now and because it's going on to architect I'm going to use a, a stronger grab glue Although, again, our book binding glue will be fine, but I want quite a tacky grip. That doesn't sound quite right, does it? A tacky grip. But you, <laughs> but you knew what I meant. A quick, a quick, quick grab. A quick grab. I'm not quite sure if that sounds any better, actually. <laughs> no, uh... I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, right, so. Close that. Right. that through there first okay, and then you're going to line that up just 
give it a good burnish at that point. Yeah, I'm just getting rid of some of the bits and pieces. Once you've got it down, the magnets actually hold it quite well in place as well. Okay, so that's that piece there. Here is a piece of um, black card that I'm going to stick down in the... In the base of this. Okay. So this is going to be the one that's going to stick in here and because I've got a slot there I'm not going to stick. Can you see that's what's called a tuck-in? So it's using one of our never-ending um, dies and I've put a little bit of coloured card behind so that it emphasises it when something's behind it. So I'm going to stick that one in next. So because it's a tuck-in, I'm not going to put glue there, I'm just going to put glue along the bottom there and then all on this bit here. I like doing this, it took a while to, to do. Well, the monster book? Yeah. It's, the it's, 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 been, it's been in the making for a long it time. Has. Well, the original one I did, I did that with um, Enchanted Forest. That's the one I had to do major surgery after I'd made it because the spine didn't fit. Ah, right. Okay. Well, it, it all fitted together, but then when I went to close the album, it didn't work. Imagine a little bit of swearing went on. Quite a lot went on. <laughs> Just leave that piece in there so that you know that that's a tuck in. Make sure it's straight. And then this piece is going to stick on here like that. And you can see this is one of our set one of our curved photo slots. So set two coming soon. I think set two might be appearing very soon if it hasn't already appeared by the time this has gone live. Oh yeah, I've got to edit this yet. Hmm? I've got to edit this yet. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm put my badly spelt bits on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll put that one on there. So that's on there. Now, on my original monster book, I actually made a little mini album that fitted in here as well, a little concertina one. You, oh, sh right. you should have enough um, decorative paper to to, do uh, to play about and do something like that. Yeah. But I didn't put a. I originally I was going to put two grey book covers in, but it makes it too thick. So just make your own little little ones that fit in there. So that's that there like that. This one's going to go on top here. see where these bits are here you can either put a decorative circle underneath just leave it like that and then from one of the other bits that was cut because this is going to get a lot of um welly when people are opening it put a little bit of stronger glue on again put that one on there and then these will be glossy accented once we've finished there. So doing that sheet is quite a useful way of using it is. that as a bits and pieces. Yeah, and actually I found it easier to, I suppose because I'd already made the album up, but if you're doing this and you've got the dies, I found it much easier to pre-cut everything so it was all there and you weren't having to stop and get up and die cut another bit. So if I remember, I will try and put on there how many dumbbells you need to cut out beforehand. Okay, and well, that'd be good, that'd be useful information. Right, okay, so that's... That's your first bit done.